please put your hands together for Nigel and Kirk Howarth. Okay, so I'm going to cook um, an organic crispy cabbage dish with um, pumpkin seed and uh, wild green pesto with nori, apple picked in elderflower and some potato crisp seasoned with nori. The cabbage is cooked in organic coconut oil and organic olive oil. Um, obviously, so I cook completely dairy-free, plant-based. Um, so the cabbage is obviously nice and golden now, so I'm just going to put that in the oven. Um, so they're just some very thinly sliced potatoes then just cook them till they're golden. I've got some little um, poo stepping up, baby spinach, and I've got some rocket, and I'm gonna nick some of Kirk's uh, coconut oil, and I'm gonna just um, quickly saute that off. And hope I haven't got my pan too hot so that it uh, goes to completely nothing. Kirk's gonna put the uh, pesto on now. So yeah, we just garnished it with the pesto on top. Um, and then my dad's just going to, some wilted spinach and rocket. So all the ingredients are, you know, there's rocket and spinach in the pesto. And then we're showing a different way to cook it by wilting it in the coconut oil. Um, so, you know, there's two types of it, basically. And then the apple is pickled in uh, wild elderflower vinegar, which I make myself. Okay. So I pick the elderflower from near, near the restaurant in Hackney and um, make the vinegar from last year. Right, do you want me to put the combo on? So we're going to put a bit of combo on now, seaweed. So Kirk's just put the uh, the crispy potatoes on top. Again, that gives a bit of texture. And then, uh, inevitably, we need to have a bit of... Uh, nori this powder. is nori powder. Organic crispy cabbage, uh, cooked in coconut oil, um, served with an organic green pesto, pickled apple, and wild nori. I think it's really important to, A, demonstrate, and then when, when you're at a, an, an event where there are obviously lots of chefs, I think it's really important then to communicate with those guys. They're the next generation of chefs. They're the next people that are gonna create the great dishes of the future. It's great for young chefs to, um, to watch these demonstrations and um, look up to them. I remember when I was 18, I was always inspired by coming to these things and looking at other chefs. And I always dreamt of actually doing these sort of things. Um, so it's a massive um, thing for young chefs, and I think and it should inspire them to achieve and be successful.